A woman from Kings Lynn has won the beauty pageant Miss International Curve. Emily Blake of North Lynn is well known in the plus size industry and has beaten hundreds of people from around the world for the crown. She wants to use uh, this exposure as a platform to promote body positivity, which she believes comes in all shapes and sizes. Here, here. And Emily is joining me right now. Hello, Emily. Good morning. Hi, Chrissy. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, it's, it's an absolute, absolute pleasure. How long have you been entering um, beauty pageants? So my first one was in 2013, which was Miss Universe Norfolk. And was, was it uh, you You decided to put yourself forward for it? Why, why did you do that? I did, yes. Um, I actually found myself in quite a, a dark place um, after losing my grandma in 2012. And I was looking for a way to get myself back out there and do something fun and build my confidence back up because I really felt like I lost that and I couldn't really remember the, the sort of bright bubbly person that I was so I, I really needed to do something very different and uh, yeah just build my confidence back up. How then do you go about entering something like Miss International Curve? What, what I mean the requirements obviously are it's in the title you need to be a bit curvy. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, you need to be a UK sized 14 or above. Um, and it was an application process followed by um, on the day it was sort of interviews. You had a traditional wear round, swimwear, and then an evening gown walk as well. As well as a really fun dance opening number. <laughs> a fun dance opening number? What was that to? It was brilliant. Um, oh, what was our song? Um, Oh, goodness me, I can't remember the song. It will come back to me. <laughs> well, well I, I, I'll tell you what, Emily, if, if it does, then just shout it out. We might try and, we might try and play it. Um, I remember the moves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. You could probably sort of strut your stuff anywhere then now, can't you, whenever that comes on the radio. Um, well, what, what about your relationship with the other girls? What was that like? The other girls, um, I actually knew quite a few, a few of them very well from the Miss British Beauty Curve system, so, which is a pageant that I won back in 2014. So uh, we had a couple of the recent winners, um, Emily Dieppe and um, we had the Miss winner as well, and they sort of won a place in Miss An International Curve. Uh, so I knew those girls really well, and actually it was, it was kind of horrible going up against them. Um, because I love them so much and it was just like oh you know we, we all wanted to, to obviously be taking home the, the crown and the title um, but yeah the relationships were, were fun we all had such a fun time that day it really was amazing uh, lots of laughs lots of giggles um, we we're all a bit silly really and we, we, <laughs> we like to have a good laugh together where did the competition take place so it was actually held, um, this was the first ever competition and it was held in Maidstone, Kent. And the idea um, from the pageant directors is that it grows and grows and becomes a pageant system that can take place anywhere in the world and have truly sort of international competitors flying out and, you know, making something really big. So I'm so excited to, to be the first ever winner. And what have you won? So the crown is ginormous it's the most sparkly thing I've ever seen in my life um, so I've, I've got that I've also got this really nice sort of um, really luxurious sash um, with my title on I've got matching earrings to the crown which I'm wearing right now they are dazzling they're huge I've got some makeup um, I've got a Miss International Curve mug which I want to use but probably shouldn't and some few, a few other goodies which I haven't actually looked at yet because <laughs> I have to um, work training the next day. <laughs> uh, now the, the 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 Miss International Curve mug. What is that like? Is that um, is that a curvy mug? <laughs> to be honest, it's a it's a standard mug. It does have a very oh, sort. Oh, of... I thought I, th I thought they might have all made it a bit different for you. That would be cool. Maybe I'll suggest that for next year. But it's really nice. It's got the, the black and gold logo on. It's got um, the logo with a... It's like a girl with a crown on top. Um, and it's... Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> you were saying that, the, the you know, the minimum requirements was to be a size 14. What, what, what kind of size are you then, Emily? Because I'm talking to you up in 
North Lynn, and you're not in front of me right now, so I can't see you. So just j just describe your shape and your size. So I wear a UK size 16. Uh, that's what I kind of am on average. However, my technically my bottom half measurements equate to a UK 18. Um, and I, it really depends on what shops you go to as well and how stretchy material is. But average 16 is what I am. And I have kind of an hourglass figure. Um, yeah, that's the best way to describe it, really. And I'm five foot eight. Uh, well, yeah, you you talk about shops. You can be a different size in, you know, you, you, mm. you, you can walk up and down the high street and you'll be a different size in each one, won't you? Um, what, what, what actually happens now then, Emily? What, what What's next for you? So now it's just my my role and responsibility to to spread the spread the word of the pageant really and appear at events obviously in full sort of gown crown and sash and attend charity events and help out wherever I can. I personally would like to take on international sort of missions and really spread the word and go abroad and help with different charities. I've been contacted to go to Nigeria next year actually to work on a project with Chaps UK so if I can make that happen I would be over the moon that would be brilliant. What would your words of advice be to, to, to other other people out there let's face it a lot of us do have issues with weights from time to time what were that you know if you're after you've had a baby or something something like that you might just be someone who d tends to put on weight very very quickly you're someone who's very very happy with with your weight and and your figure so what what, what advice would you give yeah, I mean, it's very, it's actually very rare for someone to be completely happy with everything about themselves. And I find that really sad. And I think it holds, it holds people back. If you're lucky in confidence for whatever reason, you will find yourself held back from certain experiences and things that you want to do in life. So my advice really is that you know, life is, is far too short to hold yourself back from things, from experiences and going on adventures. Try and love yourself. One of my top tips for in the beginnings of that journey, because it is a big journey, is to get in front of the mirror and start telling yourself positive things that you like about yourself, whether it's physical or how you are as a person. So you have to start speaking to yourself in a really positive way. We would never go around to um, our friends or a stranger in the street and say the things we say about ourselves, you know, those really negative things. So why do we pick on ourselves? Why do we bully ourselves? So my first, yeah, my, my biggest top tip is to change the way in which you think about yourself and talk to yourself and you will start to see a, a gradual change. Emily, really lovely talking to you. I wish you all the best. You will keep in, in touch with me, won't you? And let me know where you're off to. Definitely. Yes, I will. Thank we'll you. And, and, and well done. I was going to ask you, how heavy is that crown again? Oh, do you know, it's actually quite heavy. Um, it's heavier than my last one, but it's got the addition of a nice curved part, so it sits perfectly on your head. <laughs> so it balances. It's brilliant. <laughs> That's great. Emily, thank you very, very much for your time. That's Emily Blake of North Lynn. And she is now Miss International Curve.